So, John Hall, first World Cup of the year. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me, yeah, then what's behind you here? Um, so, this is the latest revision of our, uh, I guess, our downhill bike um, from Intense. And, I mean, there's really no secrets anymore, but yeah, it's about all we can say at this point. It's just the latest revision. Um, same thing we've been riding since the end of last year, kinematically. Just dialed a few things in, um, the geometry for the guys, just fitting and stuff like that, playing with some sizing stuff, but pretty well confirmed on all that for production um, and moving forward. So now we just wait for those. Cool, it looks fairly refined. Yeah, um, I think that's a comment we get quite a bit. The prototyping process at Intense is pretty open. And so we often, we're not hiding a whole lot. So if we're not gonna hide a whole lot and we don't, you know, we want it to at least look somewhat good. So for us, it's just a bit smoother transition. You know, what our prototypes look like are oftentimes um, pretty close to what production will also look like in terms of ID and stuff like that. So production will be a little bit different tubing, um, but overall uh, shape of the backbone and all that's the same. So Ben, tell me what's there behind you here. Yeah, yeah, that's behind me. It's just like the new glory, the one we've just been waiting long for it. Like, lot of work on it like good long prototype system happy to be just finally releasing the bike the new color looks amazing just a lot of good feedback so far like happy to finally just have it out yeah we've got like a three position headset we've got three position flip chip for the bottom bracket and two position on the rear for the um, chin stay just like you can actually find exactly what you want and at the end it's going to be a three sizes bike and it's you for sure going to find what you want just happy everything is really plug and play easy to fit easy to do just no need to have special tools to have it to do it just great so todd here at the first downhill world cup of the year tell me yeah tell me what's going on well yeah uh first start of the of the first world cup is always a crazy busy time all the athletes have been out Spring training, doing a bunch of training camps, doing a bunch of riding, so everything's clapped out. So we've really got to come in, take all the equipment, all the suspension, I should say, take it down to ground zero, totally go through and freshen up everything, replace all the all the broken parts because the mayhem definitely happens. And, uh, yeah, getting everybody back on fresh equipment, getting them ready for the first uh, first training session. So there's no, there's no secrets anymore. All the secret stuff you were working on last year is all in circulation there, right? We always have secrets. I mean, we're always doing stuff, uh, you know, trying to get a competitive edge on everything. So um, everything externally is definitely free game. We've still got some nice secrets internally, so. How are you? Good yourself. Not How so are bad. you? Yeah, good. Lens ID 2023. Yes. It's good. What's new on the bike? I don't know, same, same. Yeah, just few uh, few little tricks and stuff. Not uh, not so much. What uh, what setup do you go for um, as far as you know cockpit and Saddle height, is there anything like that that changes course to course or is it more or less? Saddle, saddle height, so Lewis wants to saddle the away as much as possible. He wish he can have a tiny saddle, just not in the knees, nowhere. So pretty low. On the bar, so he want, the last couple of years he went higher and higher on the, on the bar, so, so it's quite high. But it's, it's good, you know, it's like Whatever you're used to it, whatever you, you ride, whatever you get used to it, and just, you know, it is what it is. You guys are in New River this year? Yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah it's, it's good, it still need a bit more improvement to be ready to win races, but it's really good and the guys are, they want to have tires that win races, so, which is good, good for us. And good tire, I have those tires on my bike, everyone's bike is, yeah, everyone is happy.
So can you tell me what's going on here? Um, yeah, final prep. Uh, just putting on the telemetry just to see if it fits on the new bike and make sure everything is running. Um, yeah, but bike's ready, ready to go, and so yeah, looking forward to it. Do you have any, any big changes between this bike and how it was at the end of last season? Uh, yeah, we actually currently have a new rear end, which is uh, five mil uh, shorter than the old one. Yeah, we were thinking of trying like a smaller rear end and it would help her to get like better like cornering stuff. So yeah, we're gonna give it a try and see how it goes. Who's bike have we got here in the background? This is Andreas Kobes. Uh, is AM 200 mullet. Um, similar setup to what we were running last year. We've done a lot of work over the off season with the rear end. You can see it's raw, it's fresh off the printer. Um, we've just been playing around with different layups of the titanium and the carbon to get different flexes for what we want. So he's got a few options he can choose from for each race. We can basically make any, any size bike we want for these boys. So Andy's been playing around with, he's been on 474 reaches, he's on a 480 reach at the moment. Um, we've also been playing around with head angles. Um, they come standard as a 63 degree head angle, um, which everyone else is liking. It's just Andy likes to change up different races. And so, because we have quite a big head tube, we can play around with reach cups and just do it that way. Um, it's a much quicker way at a race of doing it, but then we can go back to HQ and just print them a new one. So what have we got here? New frames, John. New frames. New frames. V10.8. Or as I like to call it, the new V10. Yeah, the riders are really happy though. I had loads of time on it this off season. We've been everywhere and we've done a lot of testing. So I think everyone's getting comfortable with their setups now. Everyone seems to be dialed into where they want to be. And um, yeah, we're just trucking on now. The kinematics of it is a lot more linear as well. Um, but mainly, the riders have mentioned how much more grip it has, so obviously it's helped by the, the kinematics and the flex that they've managed to achieve out of this new layup and the uh, new frame design. So, and there's so much adjustability on it now that even as me and Nina were just um, we've gone forward four mil in the headset, but come back with the offset. So she's just she's still keen to try different bits and. Still keen for testing as well, so she's not finalised on it, but she's definitely in a comfortable position with it now, so she's ready and she's going fast at the minute.